At one point or another, all men have a problem with flirting. It is one of those key communication skills that most men just simply do not develop throughout their life. And a lot of the time they struggle with communicating with women and their dating lives suck. They don't date the girls that they want to date. They get into relationships that they don't want to be in and then they just settle. This is not the way that it has to be. I am going to help you with this process with 14 psychologically proven tricks that help men improve their flirting skills and flirt with women more confidently. If you're new here, my name is Sebastian. I'm a dating coach for men with over six years of experience in dating and over three years of experience coaching men to totally transform their dating lives and to get new dates pretty much every single week. You don't have to trust me on that one. If you're new here, you can check out my testimonials page on my website. The link is in the description where you will see that the advice that I give does indeed bring results. So the first thing that I always tell my private mentorship clients is that if you are anxious about talking to a woman, you must stop thinking ahead and you must start being present in the moment. In other words, a lot of guys are self-sabotaging themselves, thinking that the interaction is going to go badly. So instead of doing that, we're going to stay present in the moment. We're going to focus on our breathing and that way, we're not going to be thinking about all the negative things that can happen, but we're going to be focusing directly on the girl in front of us. And that's going to allow us to think on our feet instead of being in our own heads and sabotaging our own interactions. Second thing that I tell guys is to start talking to the girl as if you already know her and if she already likes you. You don't want to go into the interaction thinking, oh, is she going to like me or oh, am I going to embarrass myself or what if people are looking, right? None of those things matter. This is the mindset change that is required if you want to stop feeling extremely anxious about talking to a stranger. Think that they are a positive, friendly person and that they will be open to the approach that you're going to have with them. You're going to be a little bit more relaxed going into opening up that interaction. Next little psychological trick to help you relax is to think that you approaching her is going to make her day. That you talking to her is going to be the best thing that's going to happen to her in that day. Now, no matter what happens, this could be the worst rejection of your life. You do not focus on any of those things before the approach, during the approach, or after the approach. You simply focus on only positive things. Final thing I'm going to be sharing with you is a little bit of a secret that I give primarily to my private mentorship clients, but you know, whatever. I'm making this video, I wanna make it as informational for you as possible. And that tip is to bring the goal down a few points. Like she has to do very similar things that you have to do in the morning, right? She has to eat breakfast, get ready for work. She has to get out of the house. She farts. She doesn't look amazing in the morning. Her hair is probably a mess. You want to humanize her. You don't want to treat her as some godly figure because if that's how you're going to think about it, then you're instinctively going to think about yourself as somebody that's below her and who has no chance with her. So your charisma and your confidence will not be allowed to shine through. Now that brings us to the end of part one on approach anxiety. Let's jump into some tips on body language. First of all, I'm going to tell you a quick story about something that I noticed I used to do when I was first approaching girls and I was really shy and I was really timid. And that thing was looking away constantly and breaking eye contact during any interaction that I was having with a woman who I was hitting on. Those are things that demonstrate that you're not confident and that you're unsure about yourself. The moment I changed that, I was able to connect with a woman better and I was able to be more present in the moment. Make sure to hold strong eye contact because if you don't, it's going to be very hard for a girl to relax around you and connect with you. Next thing that you don't want to do is fidget. You don't want to be constantly moving or swaying because that will show that again, you are very nervous and what you want to portray is confidence. So stand in a relaxed manner, put your chest out and stop fidgeting. Next quick tip is to break physical contact. So when you introduce yourself and you say your name, you want to put out your hand, smile as your hands are locked together and then make a quick observation about her, ask her a question. It demonstrates that you're confident being physical with her and it's going to give you a lot of positive vibes and positive energy that is going to come across through that little piece of the interaction. You can also use positive reinforcement when you use physical touch. So for example, let's say that you tease a girl and she laughs, you can put your hand on her shoulder. Again, 
breaking that kind of stranger to stranger dynamic however use it sporadically make sure that you're not overusing it make sure that the girl is giving you positive signals just great eye contact she's asking you questions before you attempt to do this and the final thing that i'm going to touch upon about body language is smiling you've got this smile and interaction of a woman because women like to be around positive emotions they like to be around positive guys and it can bring her into that playful fun frame now let's jump to part number three and let's discuss some of the things that you can say in an interaction to make it more flirtatious and playful. A major thing that I always notice with my clients is that they speak too quickly and they speak too much or they don't speak at all. They might have a opener that they practice in their head, right? And they deliver that opener and then there's nothing that comes after that. It's just like a vacuum, the silence or they never shut up and they never let the girl invest in a conversation. Both of those things are a mistake. You need to have a nice balance. You should be the one taking the initiative of the start of the conversation before you hook the girl, so to speak, on talking to you, ask open-ended questions, learn about the girl, listen, and then let her invest more into the conversation. And then you can use that information to build commonalities and also to tease her. If you follow this structure of having a conversation with a girl that you're approaching, you're gonna have far more success than if you're talking too much or you're not talking at all. Another little trick to make the chance of a conversation far more successful when you're approaching a girl is to approach her from the front. If you approach her from the side or from behind and you maybe tap her on the shoulder, you're gonna startle her, especially if you are in a busy street. She's very unlikely to stop for you this way. It doesn't mean that it's never going to happen. You know, we've kind of coached men from all over the world to do side approaches to do uh, front stops and we found that if you can get a girl's attention from the front it's far better because she kind of doesn't get startled she knows that somebody is talking to her and you can just immediately kind of come to a stop directly in front of each other of course if your game is good enough you can approach it from the front from the side it's not going to make much of a difference as long as you're persistent however if you're not getting too many successes because you're letting girls pass by and then you follow them for a while then obviously that is a problem i recommend that you approach directly from the front and that way you got a far better premise for an interaction. Another tip is to use the words we and us. So as the conversation is developing and as you're building connections, you want to actually start using the word we and us. You want to start building kind of the idea that you guys will do something together in the future and that there is that togetherness between you guys. This will again help you make the interaction and flirtation with the girl more intimate. The final tip I'm going to give you, and this will bring this video to an end because it's a very long one, is to get her number on a high point. Do not let the interaction run dry or do not let the interaction get to a stage where she's like, I really, really got to go. And she said that two or three times and you're still trying to extend it because then you're just impeding on her objective, right? Because you're stopping her when you're approaching her to go to her objective, maybe get a bus or get a train or go to work or meet a friend, right? Whatever it is. So you don't want to take too long. You want to establish a flirtatious vibe and when things are going really, really well, get the digits, suggest going for a drink later on, give her a text, be playful over text and then set up that date. You don't want to overstay your welcome. You don't want to take too much of her time unless she says she's totally free and in that case you can take her out on an instant date. But if she is busy, get her number on a high point. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe and hit the bell notification because videos like this are coming out every single week and they are going to improve your dating life. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, then email me at leadermyattraction at gmail.com. Or if you want to improve your dating life this very second, check out my course from open to close. There is a link in the description and it's going to teach you absolutely everything that you need to know in order to flirt with women with total confidence and be able to set up dates and have successful dates constantly.